Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's Bye Bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. As most of you guys already know that I was a very, very low spender. And now I don't spend money anymore in Rise of Kingdom. Because of that, I cannot make pay to win content. Uh, that is like a limit there for me in terms of like making content. However, recently, T Congo. One of the biggest supporters for this channel has offered me to help with making some of those pay to win contents available for this channel. Uh, so I cannot buy Rise of Kingdom bundles, but he can. So from now on, we will be abusing him to make content for us. So the first thing I wanted to do is to show you guys how far a pay to win player can get in the first day for Season of Conquest KVK. So let's see. How big of a gap between pay to win and free to play player? This is the last oh, last, last one. one. Uh, woo, Ooh, just enough. I think this is the last one. Max tree here. Uh, that is very good. All right, max tree early. Okay, let's, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. So max first one. So I bought everything: pop up, supply, and the first conqueror's will. This is the the maximum amount of crystal you can get. So everything to level five, 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 three, five, 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 five one, one, three, ten, five, ten, and then nine here and nine here. Um, can you go to the list of the mail you save from all the bundle you buy? Just go to them like slowly to see the amount of crystal that you get. Okay, this is when I entered KVK. Uh, KVK. Okay. Uh, supply. The first one. This one you got three hundred thousand crystal. Then. Another one, the same. Another 200,000 crystal here. Uh, okay. 550,000. 55 here. Go. Next. Then 130. 1 million 200,000 crystal, right? Yep, that's about right. 1 million crystal, yeah. And this is uh, 40 times 50. 2 million. And a lot of gem as well. 3,400 gems. Yeah, definitely Rich. some decent amount of gems. And enough some resources, I guess. Yeah. You know, some VIP points right there for you to catch up to that VIP 18. <laughs> <laughs> and then another 55. That's nice. It's like a small bundle. You can you can tell by the by, by the amount of VIP points you get how small that. Yeah, is. this one is a big one. Fifty five yeah. times fifty. Uh, two million five twenty five thousand crystal. That's good. Very good amount there. Have another one of those. Fifty thousand. Yeah, here's the Conqueror's Wheel that I was talking about. Don't buy this, people. Don't buy this. <laughs> you bought it without me knowing, huh? I don't even know when you bought it. <laughs> this one you got only 150,000, which is not a lot. I think this one is $6, yeah. right? And then second tier. Uh, 250,000. Not a lot either. Is that, is, is that like one small And then the final tier. tier. You got 50,000, so like three bundle for about a million crystal there. Yeah, yeah. not very worth it. Yeah. The pop-up pop bundle will definitely get a lot more crystal for sure. Next. And you have four more pop-ups. So at one, that's... Oh, this one gives a lot too. Yeah, 1.3 million. Damn. Another. 2.5 million here. A very, very good amount. And, uh, another million. And the last, that's the last bundle. 
150,000. Nice. Very, very good amount of... Uh, and I, I think that's it. I think that's yeah. it. That's good. Good to know, right? Very, very informative. Right? We'll definitely know how far like uh, a big spender can get after the first day, right? Uh, to be able to get max both buildings and get a very, very high research there. Very good, right? You, you definitely get like a huge, huge advantages there when it comes to uh, the next zone, uh, the open field fire. So uh, we have a high, high... But, but if you think about you. it, most of those are like... Um... PV, economic, right? economic, yeah. economic PV. check, right? But uh, it, it it set you up, right? It set you up in in a very very good spot for like pushing on for pushing up, pushing more on like higher research. I would say. Like, yeah. It, it's like a good setup there on the first day, right? Maxing out on treaty on the first day that is very good. Maxing almost maxing out on uh, skillful operation, very good as well. You got cut down on a lot of crystal cost as well. Especially with the twenty-five, a level twenty-five research center, right? It it definitely got reduce the amount of crystal needed. So yeah, so uh, you can see that uh, he he was able to get a very very high research there on just the first day. He got his a uh, crystal mine to level twenty-five. He got his research center to level twenty-five as well. And uh, from buying all those bundles, right? He bought all the available bundles there. Uh, he was able to get total of 15 million crystal right there on the first day alone and so to put it into like a, a, a comparison here right for me in my last kvk as 100 percent free to play player uh it took me the entire kvk to collect almost 40 million crystal right and for him to be able to get like 15 million crystal on just day number one that is a very, very big gap between a pay to win and, and, and free to play player. Uh, so I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you would like T Congo to make other pay to win content, uh, please leave a comment uh, below. And maybe he'll, he will consider helping us out again. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.